All right, guys, so as you can see, we have reached stage 500 of Jiren's Extreme Z-Awakening. Now, I will say this. I do not recommend uh, anyone do this. The reason is because all you get as a reward for doing stages past stage 100 is just this holy water training item. That is it. Uh, you don't get, you know... No, uh, usually, in Extreme Z-Awakening events, when you go past stage 30, uh, you get 1.5 million zenny per run, I believe. Uh, but here, you know, we're, <laughs> we're only getting uh, five holy water training items, which are not great. It's, <laughs> it's not fantastic at all. It's a very little reward. So, uh, I would not recommend anyone do this. Here's also the other thing about this. As you guys are going to see, this EZA basically does not increase in difficulty. Uh, Android 17 can crit and finish off Jiren in one shot. He does it all the time. So really, all this is is just like an immense time waster for your boy, like actually getting up this far in these levels. Uh, for normal EZA stages, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, the Dragon Ball Z Broly, you know, you like uh, easy is like that. I would recommend people get as high as you possibly can because you're going to get a lot of extra Zenny doing that, which is always very helpful. You know, awakening units, training units, farming units, super attack levels. Uh, having a lot of Zenny on hand is important. I'm sure eventually there's going to be some LR or some big unit in the future that will require a lot of Zenny again. You know, uh, LR Hercule required a lot of Zenny. LR Broly required a lot of Zenny. You know, there will be another one in the future that will require a lot of Zenny. So it's good to get as far as you can in easy A's. Uh, even if it's only to like, say, you know, 32 or 33. Just any extra uh, Zenny will help you out a lot. Now, despite how easy this is, this is a good opportunity for me. I am actually going to come back. We're going to do one more video on the Jiren easy A after this one right here. So this is stage 500. We are going to come back. I got to do this quick because there's only a few days left where the EZA will be up. But I'm planning on doing a video for stage 999 of the EZA as well. Uh, it should not be difficult to get there at all. Because again, as you guys can see, like, you know, some runs are a one hitter quitter on this Jiren. Like he just goes down in one shot. Uh, no difficulty at all. The Universe 7 representative team is just so powerful. Absolutely annihilates him. And it's all these units are pretty damn good. You know, 18, 17, Blue Vegeta. Uh, I am even using the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Uh, the reason I use him and not uh, the Super Saiyan God Goku is because uh, Kaioken Blue links better with the rest of the Universe 7 representatives team. Uh, oftentimes... Uh, if I get a rotation with God Goku and, you know, maybe we have Android 18 and Evolution Blue Vegeta on the rotation, uh, we just don't have enough key for all three units to super. Whereas, even though Kaioken Blue Goku uh, does not have turn on... Well, neither does uh, God Goku. Uh, neither of them have turn on power. But uh, one link that uh, Kaioken Blue Goku has that God Goku does not is prepare for battle. Uh, so even though uh, Kaioken Blue Goku does lower... Uh, your health a bit when he supers. Uh, I do find that the added uh, prepare for battle link ma has made this go way, way faster. Uh, I'm not going to take you guys' this time too long. We'll probably just do a couple stages. We'll maybe go up to like Sage uh, 505 or 506, 507, something like that. Uh, in the meantime, I do want to tell you guys uh, to start preparing. Uh, I think we should see data downloads for... Uh, global NJP uh, sometime soon within the next week, I would presume. Uh, I believe, again, I've said several times, uh, I believe Global is going to move into Evolution Blue Vegeta uh, and Jiren's Dokkan uh, Festival. So those two will be on a banner together. Both of their Dokkan events will come out. Uh, I believe the LR Frieza campaign will finally come to Global uh, alongside Evolution Blue Vegeta, just like it did on JP. And I also believe Dokkan Battlefield uh, will finally be arriving on Global alongside Evolution Blue Vegeta and the LR Frieza campaign. Because, again, all of those things happened for JP back in April for Golden Week. Uh, those were the Golden Week celebrations. So I could see Global moving into that. This, I, listen, this has got to have been 
Like, for Global, look at it like this. So Global went from their three-year anniversary into the best celebration in Dokkan history, I think, the 250 million download celebration, into what is probably going to be an Evolution Blue Vegeta celebration with Battlefield and LR Frieza campaign. So Global, we're talking months of just absolute flames for Global. So uh, very good stuff. That is good, too, because, you know, we have had these shenanigans, you know, with the Belgian uh, Gaming Commission and all that stuff. You know, the, you know, Belgium basically, uh, well, for Belgium, uh, Do Global Dokkan was actually removed from the App Store. So uh, if you want to play uh, Global Dokkan and you live in Belgium, you're going to have to use a VPN. That that was surprising. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That, that was a, a bit of a, sh a strange one, but... You know, basically, uh, EA got a little bit too greedy, I think. And uh, that led to repercussions for, you know, basically the entire gaming industry as a whole. <laughs> That's all it takes. One motherfucker biting off a little bit too much. And then, boom, we have, you know, mobile games being taken off of the App Store and craziness like that. Um, but that is what Global should be getting soon. Evolution Blue Vegeta. Now, JP... Um, I think JP, probably around the same time Global's going to get a download, data download, I think JP will as well. Uh, JP in October is going to have a celebration centered around the Kais and the Majin Buu characters. Uh, that was leaked on Twitter by uh, Kawhi, Team Dokoner, and uh, I seriously uh, a while back. So the three things I think we could see in October for JP Dokkan, um <laughs> One... We'll get the uh, STR Transforming Super Bowl, who, uh, as of right now, I am, like, uh, strong in my resolve that I'm not going to rainbow him, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how good he is, what his team looks like. I will say this. I'm going to leave the door open for myself. If I like what I see from the Super Bowl, I probably will rainbow him, but if he's, like, uh, nothing spectacular, I'll probably walk out of there. Um, maybe with, uh, just one dupe, right? Because uh, I feel like their units take a big jump forward with one dupe. But after that, dupes don't really dramatically increase, I think, like, the power of a unit. Like, the second dupe does also give you a lot of value there. Because you're, you're able to give them full abilities, right? You can give them more crit, more additional, more dodge, whatever you want to do. But then dupes, especially three and four... You're just getting a, a little bit extra stats. Uh, and I always do recommend kind of going in order for opening up the dupe paths. So you go bottom right, then you go top left, top right, and then bottom left. Uh, those are the basically the uh, direction you want to go in with opening up your dupes. Now, along with the SCR Transforming Super Boo, we know that the SCR Fat Boo gets an awakening and there will be a new Hercule card. Should be coming pretty soon. Uh, we know Physical Kid Boo. Uh, is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening as well. Uh, I actually just rainbowed that Physical Kid Boo. So I'm going to do a video on him uh, in a day or two here. Uh, just kind of seeing how he works on his category teams. Uh, I feel like Kid Boo is a pretty pretty good candidate for the Revived Warrior team. Uh, just, you know, that massive 50% uh, attack up buff that he does give. So I'm going to want to, you know, see... What they do with his EZA. I mean, Physical Kid Buu, they really could very easily turn him into, like, one of the the 20 best units in the game or some shit like that. Easily. Because Turles, I think Turles is on the very short list of units I would consider the best in the game. And I, I feel like there's a scenario, like, they could make Kid Buu just in the right way where I think Kid Buu is, like, as broken nearly as Turles. So it'll be very interesting to see what exactly they do with Kid Buu's EZA. Eh? Uh, I bet usually the way these things happen, the banner would come out, and then I think about a week later, the EZA eh would probably happen. Uh, and then I also believe we're probably going to get a world tournament for JP pretty soon. I don't know about Global when Global's going to get one. Uh, I do think Global's reward for their next world tournament is going to be a Chi-Chi card, uh, the Chi-Chi that JP got a while back. And then I think uh, JP is going to get uh, a Goku Black card that was kind of leaked by Kawhi uh, and the French data miners a while back. I think there's also a pretty good chance that the Hit card 
who was a global world tournament reward in their last tournament will likely be a reward on JP as well. So I think JP would have uh, Goku Black and Hit as reward cards uh, for the upcoming world tournament. Now, uh, the Hit was not that great. We don't know what Goku Black does yet, I don't, I don't think. But it's going to be very interesting to see. I can imagine with Goku Black and Hit as tournament reward cards... Uh, there might be a lot of competition for this upcoming JP tournament. You know, that's a lot different from, like, the Mighty Mask, which provides no hype whatsoever as a World Tournament reward. And then the Super Saiyan 2 Grey Saiyan Man was an amazing card. Probably the best World Tournament reward card, but maybe not the craziest, you know, hype unit of all time. But, like, Goku Black, I feel like people will really grind the fuck out of the tournament for him. So it'll be very curious to see uh, how things, you know, proceed when uh, that next world term arrives but uh all right guys so i guess i'll probably just go ahead and end it here um again i, I do want to do one more video here just because i know i can get to stage 999 of this easy eight i'm gonna go ahead and do that uh and uh we will be back for that so <laughs> until we're ready for stage 999 thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all next time